Tens of thousands of people in central Georgia will get high-speed broadband internet in a deal announced today by Governor Kemp. Internet access in rural areas has been a problem for years, the pandemic only magnifying those challenges. The issue could make or break Governor Kemp's re-election next year. 11 Alive's Doug Richards explains. Rural Georgia was the key to putting Governor Kemp in office in 2018. He will need those voters again if he aims to get reelected next year. The internet is extremely important for my job. In fact, I can't do my job without it. Our sister station in Macon has documented the internet woes of rural Georgians for years, like Kumba Rashidi of Peach outside. County. I look constantly at the building where I'm supposed to be working down there where the internet doesn't work. Uh, I'm supposed to have a high-speed internet. I should say it's a low-speed internet. <laughs> it's tied directly into economic development. Buzz Brockway says give rural Georgians high-speed internet and they could stay put while connecting to jobs in Atlanta and beyond or create businesses they can't create now. That could be a real economic boon to rural Georgia in the years to come. and. Uh, but a lot of that's predicated on having good internet access. In 2019, I signed Senate Bill 2. For Governor Kemp, it's also about giving back to a constituency that helped elect him. Though Democrats, including Joe Biden, won statewide races last year, the map still shows Republican red prevailing in rural Georgia. Putting high-speed internet in rural Georgia is good business and, for Kemp, good re-election politics. Really, his, his strategy for winning was to do extremely well in rural Georgia, and he did. Uh, that provided the margin uh, for him, and uh, he's going to have to rely on that again. Conversely, if Kemp doesn't keep delivering, it could burn him in rural communities left out. The announcement at the Capitol this afternoon does give the governor almost 40,000 new happy customers.